how are you? Hi guys, so we're gonna go over today all the latest information on the uh, Marvon case, the Marvon situation. We've got to update it, uh, the custody battle and also uh, the updated police report. Um, this is a lot, this is a lot to cover. So we're tr gonna go over as much as we can. Um, I brought in the people that gave me information, so I'm gonna bring them up. But before I get into all of that, gotta pay the bills. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Hey guys, as you already know, I'm in love with Magic Spoon cereal because it fits so well into my lifestyle. It's zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Not only does it taste delicious, but it's also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. It's the perfect cereal to get my day started. Of course, Fruity is my favorite to-go flavor, but Magic Spoon is now allowing you to create your very own variety box. Click on the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code Sherelle for $5 off. You could choose from the best-selling flavors including my favorite, Fruity, Cocoa, Frosted, Peanut Butter, Cookies and Cream, Maple Waffle, Blueberry, and Cinnamon. But wait, Magic Spoon is now adding Honey Nut to their permanent collection. So be sure to add Honey Nut to your custom box and try it out. So click the link below and use code Sherelle for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com backslash Sherelle to save $5 off your order today. And be sure to add the new flavor, Honey Nut, to your custom box. All right, guys. So listen, there is a... Oh, wait, was that me? Is that you? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Hold, hold on. Yeah, that's it. Good. Okay. So listen, there's a lot of information going on in this case. And so we got a lot to go over. I got to make it split it in sections because it's so much going on. I got Nosy and Amber giving me information. We all know when it comes to Nosy, she really helps me out. And if I need help with anything, I go to Nosy and Amber. So um, thank you guys so much. I want to thank you for bring, bring, coming on my channel and help me with all this information. Quick, quick update for those of you that have not seen my last two previous videos. If you haven't seen them, go back and see them. So the person we're talking about is Dre McCray. She's an influencer being accused of giving her children and uh, her husband, Creighton, that er, powerful herb that acts as an opioid. <laughs> Steve is not here today. I hope I said it right. With all kinds of side effects, including hallucinations. It's for uh, pain. Uh, we've covered the fact that she doesn't want that he allegedly took his own life. Okay. Allegedly. And uh, was taken to the hospital. We know that she did not want his family to see him. She turned them away. We know that. Uh, thank you, Andrea. She's saying there. There you go. We know that uh, she uh, moved, he moved hospitals. She moved hospitals. Uh, help me, Amber, if I'm forgetting something. So update, mm -hmm. the family has seen. Uh, uh, the father, the father and the father. stepmother. And stepmother has seen him. Mm -hmm. um, what else am I missing out on? Um, I think the mother is there. Um, his biological mother is there from so far. We don't know. Um, apparently she has not seen, um, him at all yet. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting close. Did you see that comment about CBS news? Someone sent CBS news a tip yesterday. No. Yes. Really? Someone, um, someone in the comments named Nilda. It said, I took Diva's advice and sent CBS news a tip yesterday. Thank yes. you, Nilda. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. We're trying to get eyes on this case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So now pretty much, uh, okay, it's fine. Pretty much now, we're pretty much introducing this story right now to my audience, which is pretty much an urban, the urban community. We're introducing mm -hmm. this to the black people to, to, so they know what's going on. Pretty much 
besides me and nosy. I don't even know anyone else that's covering the case that's in our community. And it's really important that we get the word out on this case because they're not treating Marvon the same way who he's a Marine. I feel mm -hmm. they the way they would if Marvon was white. Mm -hmm. It is it is what it is. Yep. Okay. There's so much. I'm going to go over this police report. So many things that happened that shouldn't have. So they took her word at every turn. Mm -hmm. So it's he's not being treated fairly at all. Not even oh, under the coma. Right. Sherelle. So, yeah. Are her kids by someone else? Her first two. First someone two. in the comments, y'all know I watch the comments because I'm very messy. Someone in the comments said that the kid's dad has put in orders for temporary custody. That's what yeah, do you want to pull that up? Today. Let's put yeah. that okay, up. Okay, okay. I'm just making sure you saw it. Okay, go ahead, girl. No, thank you. We'll, <laughs> we'll start with that. Amber just gave me this information. Yeah. Let me put it on the screen. And thank goodness, well, no, let me do that second, that someone is looking after these kids. Mm -hmm. uh, last time you were on Amber, people said, don't talk about the kids. No, the no. kids, if you ask me, are in danger. She's yeah. giving them the, this drug by the spoonful. Yes. So I want to play this video again where you see her saying, I give my kid the K. What does she mean by K? Creighton. 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 Yeah. All right. And I have a video, if you don't have it, where the where Raza, the, the their child together, uh -huh. says, um, what's the brown stuff that you give me at night? And she looks at him kind of weird. And then he was like, is it Kratom? Oh, my God. You have that video? Yes, I have that video. Ooh, okay, let me play this one first. Yeah. Oh, my God. Amber, hold on. Let's play this one. Anyways, back to my daughter who had the, the UTI. So what I did was I made her the mix, the oregano, the powdery arco, and because those are two very, very powerful, powerful herbs for... And she knows the things that she's giving them is powerful. She she just said it. These are two powerful, powerful... She keeps trying to play doctor. ...an infection. Oregano is strong enough to kill staph infection, you guys. Staph infection. So of course, if it can kill something as strong as that, you better believe it can kill a urinary tract infection. So this is what I did. I have this little small crock pot and I put, I steeped the herbs for 15 minutes and then I put it in here. I made sure that it was on high before I put the herbs in so that it can like be, um, you know, already heated. And then I grab, I got this crate. Um, I don't remember where I got it from. I think it's from um, Lowe's. I think I got it from Lowe's. Yeah, I think it was Lowe's. Just a regular crate. I took the hammer and I hammered out two of the things. So then I put it over right here and I put like this small pillow and then you sit on top of it so that the steam rises up. It's not, dude. Honestly, women should be steaming their area every single month. It's good. You could do it to knock out a UTI. Powdy Arco knocks out yeast infections as well. It's a very, very strong, strong herb. So if there's ever a yeast infection, immediately it's going to help. And then I had her toss and wash. So you guys know how I take my specialty that starts with a K. She said, you guys know uh -huh. how I take my special T that starts with a K. We know what the K means. Uh -huh. What's it called again, uh, Amber? Kratom? Kratom. Mm -hmm. Kratom. So the one that she mentioned, Pa Diarco, it actually mm -hmm. is yep. powerful and it's not like toxic or harmful. But this other Kratom stuff, I don't know about that. But she mentioned the steaming and Pa Diarco, and that's kind of a common thing to do. Um, not, so not she she makes sense with that, but I don't know about this Kratom. It looks kratom. like she That's her what kids we're talking out. about. And she just admitted she gave her kid Kratom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These kids are in danger. It's They're it's, in danger. And why an also, mysteriously, did she private this video in particular? Because mm -hmm. she's admitting why this, it. You can't get this video anymore. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. 
So did she private it after they went to the after he went to the yes. hospital? Yes. 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 Mm. Let me Why? mind my video. video. That particular video. Mm -hmm. She private. A lot of her videos like this. A lot of her videos like this. We got that. So these children are in danger. So I am worried about the kids. Mm -hmm. We know that CPS has gotten involved, but we don't know if she met the deadline. Now Amber just discovered that the father, pardon me, has filed, pardon me, the father has filed for, is it temporary custody? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's temporary orders just until, um, you know, they, they get everything situated. Um, the one thing that I want to point out, if you look up at the right, right side, it says the filing date is November 7th, 2013. Yes. So that is the original filing date when these two started going back and forth over these girls. The new orders, the new petition started yesterday, 7 19, 2022. That's so that's, true. go ahead. That's the discrepancy. It just, don't get confused by the filing date going back to 2013. He filed new orders yesterday. Or request. Why would he file orders? Well, because he wants his girls out. Unfortunately, exactly. that leaves Raza, who she exactly. literally, I have the videos of her saying, come and get Raza because I'm afraid of what I'm going to do to him. What? I have that. Yeah, I have that video too. So Raza is the one that is Vaughn's. And she is always, he's the one that drew the devil horns on her. Oh, I seen that. Mm -hmm. The kids How old are, is go ahead, Nosy. How old is he? The one that she says she doesn't know. Ah, and that's her son with Vaughn? With Vaughn. Mm -hmm. The other girls are older, so. But I yeah. don't even know what to say. I can't believe that person came up and said, let's leave the kids out of this. That person that on our last video probably didn't know the extent of the things that we know now. I mean, mm -hmm. that video, I think I just showed him putting the spit, her putting the spit on his forehead and down his neck. Mm -hmm. Now, who does that, by the way? Well, what was the spit supposed to do? Because she's not like, like, what is she? Is she some kind of power? Like, what does she think she is that there's something in her spit? That's gonna cure something or fix something. Is she some kind of lizard or something? She looks lizardy. Is she a lizard? What kind of spit does she have that is gonna fix something on this man? What was she, that? She believes because she was um she she was following an herbalist. So she believes that they crave each other's saliva. This is in her video. This is her words. Um, her and crave each other's saliva? Yes. And so because he's in a vegetative like state, she can spit her love onto her hand and rub it into his pores and he soaks it in. Yeah. Now, some people of Hispanic, like I've, I've seen, I've heard this, you know, they're calling her like a, a bruja, you know, a witch. So maybe she's mixing in a little bit of that voodoo kind of stuff. We don't know. That's not um, voodoo. That's that's not that's witchcraft or something. Yeah, that's witchcraft. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. yeah, I call it craziness. Yeah, Tom says right. that's just nasty. It, it really is nasty. Is. And so, his mom had to witness this. That's that's the sad part. Yeah, that's really really bad. So at least we're getting closer to the family seeing him and maybe even getting. I don't know. Let's go over this police report. That's what I wanted to talk about today. So they released a police report. We've both read it. The police report is alarming to you, Amber. Why? Hold on, just a second. While we're waiting for Amber, can you tell me who made the report? The cops. This came from the cops. What no, happened no, at who reported it? Who reported the Yeah, who went to the police? Who went to the police to make the report? His family? No, this is from the police when they came on the scene. Uh, the night he tried to take his life. So according to her, he hung himself from a shed. She came in, seen him there, got a chair, went up there and cut it off. Uh -huh. But your body would, they admit in the police report that he's very heavy. Uh -huh. He would be heavy compared to her, especially uh, relaxed weight like that. And how would she get up there? Because she's shorter than him. Uh -huh. um, also... 
Amber, you mentioned something. Let's just go over this report. Yeah. That made sense. Tell me, you read the report. Tell me yeah. what stood out for you. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> this may be okay. So you're on page four. Okay, let's. Okay, wait. Go back to. Um, I left out the other, uh, the yeah. ones where. Go to page one? three. Go to page three because that's when the first officer arrives. This is it. When he says the east, he enters the east gate inside the shed. I notice a black male oh, right, in the okay. center of the shed. Right. Okay. So the, the shed is only seven feet tall, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. about 10 years old, rusted nails. The person, the officer says that, you know, I don't know if this is the officer without reading it all, but they said that the shed looks sturdy, but regardless of it, Vaughn looks very tall. Does anyone know how tall he is? I um, don't, but I, he looks about six, six, one. Yes, I would think so. So seven feet tall at the, at the highest point. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing that sticks out to me is that why would he go to such, such a short length of distance from the ground? And then also why mm. is there only one piece of rope found when in the, in the report, it says she cut him down with a pocket knife, with his pocket knife. So in order to literally hang at some point, there has to be a very tight knot at the top of that beam of that seven foot shed. So where is the second part of that rope that she separated his neck from hanging? You know what, Amber? This sounds like that Jesse Smollett myth. Is she gonna say that she climbed up there and took the knot down? Because- yeah. oh, oh, no, sorry, go ahead. No, that, that doesn't make any sense. That happens in movies. Nobody cuts anybody down from hanging up. That sounds like a movie. Mm -hmm. It very mm -hmm. much does. So, so like let's go into detail. He says inside the shed, and this is, so this uh, report is compiled of several different officers telling their side of the story. Now, mm -hmm. the other officers, I don't have a problem with. This officer could have did more, if yeah. you ask me. Okay. So this is, and we're going to leave his name out just in case. But uh, he says, inside the shed, I noticed a black male in the center of the shed. The male was wearing blue pajamas and laying on his back. His head was towards the east and feet towards the west shed opening. His arms were away from him. Uh, YFD, that's Yuma Fire Department, was assessing him while A. McCray, that's Andrea, that's Dre, they uh -huh. call her Andrea, watched. I asked A. McCray to walk with me to the front of the residence while Yuma Fire Department personnel worked on her husband. I noticed A. McCray was agitated. She would shake, unable to keep her hand steady, and her voice uh, broke every now and then. Now, I will say this. That's normal. Wouldn't you uh -huh. be shaken? Yeah. Okay, that, that's normal. I mm -hmm. asked A. McCray to tell me what happened. Due to A. McCray going back and forth, the following is a summary of the conversation with A. McCray. For complete details, okay, we got that, okay. Um, a. McCray stated she and her husband had been married. Now, I read this before, but I'm gonna read it again because it comes with the complete report mm -hmm. now. Um, A. McCray stated she and her husband have been married for approximately eight years. They have one child in common, but... He raised two, but he raised her two children. M. McCray, that's Marvon, suffered from, and I did not redact this. Yeah. This is the de police department. They redact that. Mm -hmm. In uh, 2019, he went to a physical therapist. When he went to a physical, when he went to the therapist, her husband's demeanor changed and he became someone she did not know. Okay. She's going to proceed to describe Vaughn as a very verbally mm -hmm. A-word person, hostile, someone mm -hmm. she might even be scared of. I'm not saying he wasn't that way, but if he was, she did not show it on any of those videos, mm -hmm. okay? So to me, she's gonna describe him as typical angry black man, okay? Mm -hmm. She said they always got along and tell his therapy and then would, he would change and become verbally a to her. I just said that. And I did not just say that. Mm -hmm. I have not read this in its entirety. Uh, at times, she would leave the residence because of the change. She's claiming 
that he was so scary, mm. she would have to leave the residence. And he's just this hostile man. If anybody out there has a video of Vaughn being hostile, please send it to me. Mm -hmm. Because all the 3,800 ones I've seen, and we've been through how many? Uh, a my, lot. Amber and, uh, a lot. So many videos. Mm -hmm. In every video, she's mm -hmm. the aggressor. The mm -hmm. video that I have of them arguing, he was saying, please leave me alone. Yep. Now, I don't know any aggressor that begs with their prey. And he was trying to leave during that video. He wanted money to go to a hotel and she refused to give it to him. She's setting the scene. And uh -huh. don't forget, I'm telling you the story, the things that stand out to me. Vaughn got a $600,000 settlement for his knee. Uh -huh. And there's a rumor there's a life, in, a life insurance policy out there. Uh -huh. Okay, Why is she describing him as someone that we was never shown on camera. But just because we didn't see it doesn't mean it's not true, but it's suspect to me, if yeah. you ask me. Uh, Marvon McCray finally stopped using the therapist. He has had, and it was redacted by the police department, not me, becoming verbally, here we go again. She's describing his aggressive behavior. She denied they had arguments, only disagreements, but the disagreements were severe, okay. Let me, let me, let me interject right here too, mm -hmm. because there's also a video where she talks about this particular therapy, this therapist. So he went to the VA. Mm -hmm. um, the therapist was saying, well, it doesn't really seem like it's you. So when he came back to report what? to Drea, yeah, that the therapist thought he was okay. That's when she took offense and was like, no, that therapist is weak, whack, uh-uh cancel. She didn't want to hear any negativity about herself. Mm. That was in a video that she put out. But now this is in the police report. So they need to compare the video with this police report. And it's, listen, I'm just going to say it. It sounds like she's laying down mm -hmm. the roots of a yep. explanation of mm -hmm. And she, he's the angry black man. That's what mm -hmm. she wants to call him. Mm -hmm. Oh, the chat's going too fast. Okay, hold on. So was she trying to suggest that there was PTSD because he's seeing a therapist? Like this was for him being in the military or being an athlete or something? Was she trying to say that maybe he has some kind of PTSD? Was she trying he to say? Just, she's he trying was to say. Therapist and then he... Yeah, he, he claimed that he had PTSD because of the therapist. That's, and that's in a video where he's trying to explain it to her, Miss Know-It-All, who claims, well, no, I don't know what PTSD is. Who doesn't know what PTSD is? You know everything about how to steam your hoo-ha and all that kind of stuff, but you don't know what PTSD is. And so that's in a video where this therapist has said he has PTSD. Uh, the chat, the comment that I just put up said, it feels like premeditation. Well, listen, I'm just I saying play that how it feels to me. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Do I have an echo? Okay, go. Uh, where did I leave off? Right. Um, then he would change and become verbally A. At times, she would leave the residence. Okay, I got that. McCray finally stopped using the therapist. He has had, and they redacted that again, becoming verbally aggressive again. She denied they had arguments, only disagreements. But when the disagreements were severe, she would leave until his mood changed back to his normal loving self. Come on. I can't believe that this is a new police report. This is something you write in like a, a novel, novel to make people try to believe. And then he will return back to his tender loving self. Like what officer writes like that? I'm sorry. My I know. Eight, my eight-year-old could have done better at this. When he had a, and they redacted it, she would expect his attitude to change. She asked him to see a doctor. She did not know if he ever made an appointment. Why wouldn't he make an appointment? I, I had a better question. As controlling as she is, why would she not know that he 
didn't make an appointment because she That's would follow up. Mm-hmm. She would follow up. She would be the one to make that appointment and make sure he got there. This seems like that this will be something written by her lawyer, not the police department. Why is the police, why are they explaining all of this? How does this relate to whatever crime they're investigating? Nothing. It doesn't. Yeah, well, so listen, why- it's, it's when as I read further into the report, you will see that the police took everything she said, believed yeah. everything. They didn't question. They just believed it. And I don't know if this is because this is a smaller town and I'm used to living in bigger cities where they don't even believe what your name is without some kind of evidence. So I'm, you know, I'm just you know, saying just where I'm from there would be more questions. Has anyone got a tab open? I keep hearing an echo. I don't. Okay, let's keep going. The day prior, they had a, a disagreement. A. McCray said the disagreement was during the afternoon. M. McCray slept in the bedroom while she slept on the couch. He woke up approximately at 0, 7, 15 hours. I, I remember that from the military. My husband's also a Marine, by the uh-huh. way. <laughs> Did you say he said, yeah, that's right. He (laughs) went into the children's uh, bathroom to clean up as he usually does. She offered him tea and Mm. what kind of tea? I'm just wondering. Keep reading. Huh? Keep reading. It's right below. And he began to have disagreements, uh, disagreement with her. She noticed he was more lethargic than normal. He said they tried to uh, (laughs) to use (laughs) organic products for their well-being. Oh, my God. Uh Uh-huh. Uh She is drowning him with this Kratom. They use Kratom. It's even in the police report. Yeah. And look, look, I guarantee you this officer doesn't even know because I guarantee you these are her words, which is an organic herbal medicine in the coffee family. Right, right. Most people don't know what Kratom is and the side effects that it has on people. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is an organic herbal medicine. Oh, there you go, Amber. You just said she probably mm-hmm. said that in the yeah. co- in the coffee family and opio- and I hate to say this word and has opioids. There, mm-hmm. I said it. Properties. <laughs> she believe and plus, don't forget, guys. People go to rehab to get off a of kratom. Mm-hmm. It's that powerful. If you, I'm sure it might work medically if you take it in. Small doses. Small doses. Yeah. But big gaping teaspoons of anything. I can't tell unless you're taking, I don't know what I don't know what I take in gaping teaspoons. And I seen a video this morning where she uh chugged two teaspoons. Mm-hmm. Someone told me there's videos out there of three and what mm-hmm. time at one time. And but- you said something, Amber, on your video today, the Valerian root. Didn't she give someone like two? Two tablespoons. It was yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Valerian root. It was a mix mix of herbs, and it was to calm him down. Like <sighs> she believed he may have used more than normal. Okay, and the buildup of kratom in his systems making him act this that way. They disagreed with her trying to calm him down. Okay, <laughs> let me keep going. After disagreeing for a while, uh, Marvon McRae went outside. Um, A. McRae went outside to check on him and saw him hanging in the shed. She screamed and her oldest daughter came outside to check on her. She told her daughter to go back inside the residence. She attempted to get him down by using a wobbly chair within the shed, but was unable to. I don't know why the emphasis of the word wobbly was there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's. it's, I think it's to allow extra time for her to get him down from suffocating. Oh, shit. Just (laughs) saying. Allegedly. Okay. Uh, She obtained his knife and cut him down. She called the police and began CPR as instructed. I asked A. McCray if we could call anyone for her, but she refused. She was told about Amberly's place and asked if she wanted a representative to come out, but she refused. She said she just wanted to to get her children situated situated and then go. 
Back to the hospital. To the hospital. Mm -hmm. I told her I would write an in, oh, informal report to document the incident. And I told her uh, I would go back to the shed to document the areas. I went into the shed and noticed a rope on the floor where M. McCray was. I collected the rope and later placed it into evidence. Huh. There's my problem. The rope. Where's the other piece that she cut from? Thank you, Rosie. I'm telling y'all, this reminds me of Jesse Smollett when they asked him, why was that noose still around your neck? Oh, and I just people, left it there for the police to see. People so are I, saying in the, in the chat, Terrell, you thought I was crazy because I was saying it's because she's white. That they're, they're not questioning it. They're taking it as a suicide. Uh, he didn't take pictures. Cheers. Let, me, let me keep reading. Uh, I, lost I noticed the chair she mentioned earlier. The main beam went across the center of the shed from the opening to the back of the shed. I videoed the shed from within using my body cam camera. So he did not take pictures. Zero pictures. What crime scene do you go to and you don't take pictures. I still want to know why there was only one rope. <laughs> and Amber wants to know why is there only one rope? This is the officer that we have a problem with. Yes. And I Let's also say... have, go ahead. Go ahead. What'd you say? I also have a problem with the fact that, okay, so your daughter runs out, right? You're mm -hmm. screaming. Your daughter runs out. You tell her to go back inside. You don't say at that moment in time, call 911. You send That's her back inside. He was wearing pajama pants. Where did you retrieve his knife from? Because in pajama pants, where was the knife at? Did you have to go back inside? Was it on his person? I live in Vegas. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. This report is not detailed enough for me. Nope. Now, I'm not accusing the officer of anything, but I'm saying you came in, you picked up the rope. You mm -hmm. didn't circle the rope and take a picture. Take a picture. I'm confused. Yes. There are thousands of pictures to be taken. You took the pictures with your body cam. Maybe that's allowed. But where I'm from, they do double. Right. They do double. In case something gets erased. Exactly. They do double. So mm -hmm. maybe we're just... We're just Dealing with a smaller, smaller police department. And I'll give them that for now. But they, they don't do stuff like that in my uh -huh. neck of the woods. Uh -huh. They just don't. Um, nope. They didn't, he didn't measure anything. <laughs> nope. I mean, the wobbly chair. I, mean, I, I hate that. I don't know what's going on, and it's bad. I know. You guys make sure everything's okay. Is it on my end? It may Let me be. See. Hold I on. Don't know. Yeah, it's on your end. Try to see if you can fix it, Nosy. I don't know where no. to do police work like that from. I don't know. I just don't. So I'm not okay. saying they did a botched job. I'm saying they didn't ask enough questions. They didn't treat her as a suspect. That's what you do right away automatic in any crime with a husband and wife mm -hmm. i'm just saying like my my question as an officer which i'm not but would also be why did he seem more lethargic was he taking any kind of medication what was what was he on even though there's a automatic blood draw mm -hmm. you know once they get to the hospital but there's so much missing information with this this report, um, loving self, you know, that's straight her words. That's not an officer. You don't write in adjectives to describe someone's relationship when my, okay. when, I mean, <laughs> and know. then he returned to his normal loving self. Yeah. What cop writes like that? Mm -hmm. So he is writing down what he heard her say. And, and the cop doesn't under, uh, the cop doesn't see that when he says they use Kratom, which is an organic herbal medicine in the coffee family and has opioids uh, 
prop opioid properties. So could that be a reason? Did you serve him anything? Was he drinking something with that herbal supplement in it? You know, where are all the questions? I just don't get it. Why was she not taken down? Was she interrogated at all? It, okay. No, she went she went right back to the hospital. You see it in the report. And also her behavior. She was very controlling during the whole thing. Most people are devastated and need someone to talk to them. She said, no, mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you can't determine a way a person behaves under a traumatic situation. But I ain't never heard anyone behave like this. Mm -mm. And I never seen an investigation conducted like this. Mm -mm. I'm confused. There's a lot. There's a lot of confusion. She's allowed to say who comes into the hospital, who doesn't. Even though the nurses are saying, mm, something doesn't feel right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Something's just not right. But here's the thing, Amber. Kratom, Kratom is mm -hmm. not the cause of him being in the hospital. Him attempting his own life. So we got two different situations. I want to make the public very aware. You're looking at two different things. Mm -hmm. The overuse of Kratom. Mm -hmm. And then is there a possibility that his S attempt is something else? Mm -hmm. Could it be something else? Well, it very well could be if you just listen to this police report because they're not doing a thorough investigation. Mm. Yep. What a bias and poorly, poorly written, poorly written mm -hmm. report. The officers need to be suspended for a lack of urgency and inadequate investigation. That's what I'm trying to say. Listen, from where I'm from, the police come in and they believe Guilty until proven innocent. They start yep. asking you all kinds of questions. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a police report with such fluff. And then he would he will return to his loving ways. What? See, that's the thing. It's not that the report is um is not detailed. The details are irrelevant. They're talking about very irrelevant things and leaving out things that are important. important. Like where's the other piece of rope? Mm -hmm. Nobody cares mm -hmm. about him going to the therapist and all. nobody cares about that. They left out all of the important details that police are supposed to find. Mm -hmm. Yep. All Where was the knife? Things. You retrieved the rope. Where was the knife? Where did the knife come from? Exactly. Did the ma <laughs> ma uh, knife match the pattern cut. Cut. That's all. Where was it cut? How was it cut? How was it cut? Now, I don't, I don't, I, why am I asking the police these questions during an investigation? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense. I'm not trying to put things into anybody's head. What I'm telling you is this doesn't work for me. Mm -mm. Nope. And listen, it's obvious. I, I'm not, I mean, okay, look, I'm not, we all live in America. We know if you're white and pretty and blonde, you might get special treatment. I don't think this would have went on as long if the roles were reversed. Mm -mm. I guarantee you if her light skinned little white self was hanging in that shed, Vaughn would be in cuffs right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taken to the police station. Yep. Put in an interrogation room. You guys watched the first 48. Mm -hmm. None of this is happening. Yep. None of this is happening. Everyone in the house where I'm from gets taken down to interrogation mm -hmm. immediately. Yep. Make this make sense. Or to me. if he was a white Marine, oh, it might be oh. taken a little more, more seriously, more details added. Um, but it, it's like I told my chat, we, you know, yeah, a lot of people are saying, oh, don't turn this into a racing. Well, in this, in this day and time, you have to, because the, the scale being leaning more to the right, that it could be an upset job or, a, you know, a very biased job. 
by the reporting responding officers lean more to yes than they would to no at this day and time. And I'm not trying to pull the race card. Amber, are yeah. you white? I am. Yeah. You're you're a, a Caucasian woman. Mm -hmm. You're not Hispanic. No. This seems fishy to you. It, very. And all of my mods. Diva said the thing we need to find out is what is protocol when the police show up and someone tried to commit S. How are they trained to document and investigate? Diva, I'm getting ready to drop this link. Hold on. <laughs> Diva, I'm, Diva, I'm getting to drop this link. She's the nurse. So, I did say that maybe they have a different pro protocol mm -hmm. in Yuma. That's a small town. I've never really heard of Yuma. Never really heard of Yuma. But it's but honestly, it seems like the report was prepared by her defense attorney. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even yeah. seem like it, seems, it does. It seems like she got her defense attorney to prepare this report. Mm -hmm. They're very much on her side and very talking much. about her very feelings much. too much, like to state the facts. Yeah. There was no question about what could have led him to this. Listen, one argument led you to this. He did not get it. What about the background? I need to know more. Mm-hmm. Now, unless there was more going on in this police report, uh, there's another report that I don't know about. This right here makes no sense. Mm -mm. Zero. But that's the officer we had the most problems with. I'm waiting for you, Diva. Come on up. Um, that's what I had the most to say about the, the it's the first officer's complaint mm -hmm. it, it just it, it just doesn't pass the smell test uh i received the form i filled out okay here we go now let's keep going this is another officer mm -hmm. hold on let me uh take a couple questions for the people that want to say something for this pia sound off Hi. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you what I told Amber. I believe he found out that his seizures were caused by what she was feeding him and he wanted to leave her. And she was like, if I can't have him, nobody can. I don't mm -hmm. believe at all. He tried to take his life. I don't believe it. It does not make any sense. Well, that reminds me of allegedly he wanted to leave her. Mm -hmm. allegedly he was going to go back to his mother. Was it his mother, Amber? Oh, well, his family. Yeah, he was going to be his reunited family. with his family, but also the text messages um, to and from his friends saying that he was very unhappy. He wanted out. Oh, Describing yeah. Her is very controlling. Stuff like that screams premeditated to me. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw it on Amber's channel today, and when she gave her kid that, the kid sounded of lack of a better term, he sounded high. High. Yeah. And it was oh. supposed to be what she considers the knockout tea. It was yes. time for him to go to bed. And instead of giving him the right tea, it she gave him the upper tea. So he became very hyper right at bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was off the wall. And Amber, she, send, send it to me. I'm just going to play it over the phone. This is crazy. I don't, know how to, I, can cut, I don't know how to send it because it's so long. I can cut my camera on and play it. Um, Because I it'll, it's so long. I don't know how to Dropbox stuff. So hold on. Which, I mean, which one oh. are you talking about? The one of the knockout tea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or she's, do you do you want to play the one with the kratom first, where he is talking about her giving him kratom? Because yes. the look on her face yes. is like, oh my god, I can't believe you just said. I that. have to play it through my phone. Okay, here insane. We go. We're kind of filling up back here. Let me take a couple more calls really quick. Yeah, I'll go ahead and um drop down. But that's just what I wanted to say because none of this makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Oof. Thank you. I'm Peter. sorry. It, it doesn't make You're sense. Welcome. Listen, are you willing to say it sounds premeditated? Oh, she oh, hung up. She hung up. Uh, hold on. Let me take one more call, Amber. Real okay. Hi, is it can you, Lakita? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. How are you all, Sherelle? Sound off. What did you want to add? This is just awful. I've never seen anything like this. I live in a very small town in Mississippi, 
and they do way better job than this. I just, in my opinion, I'm just saying, how do we not know that she didn't know this officer? And because of the way the report was read, how do we know that she didn't know him and may have been not want to put everything down because he may have known her? Because I never, I never heard of any report being written like that. She, it sounds like never. a damn novel. Yes, wow. it really does. I never listen. If I called the cops to my house, this this happened because uh, my teenager got in a fight with another teenager. Mm -hmm. They came in as if it was all holy hell I broke loose. They're oh, yes. they're handcuffing people while they just ask you questions. Mm -hmm. And that's he was two black boys that got in a fight. They're handcuffing you. Get over there. And one of the uh, a mom walked up to find out what's going on. Stand over there. Don't come over here. Exactly. Don't pick that up. That's a, what? Now I do realize I live in a high populated area and we have more crime than a lot because it's, mm -hmm. it's Vegas and people get drunk all the time. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen anything like this. And exactly. if they and if you were around at the time that it happened, they're taking you down to the interrogation mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. Don't you watch the first 48? I have never yes. seen anything like this. Never. Never. Yeah, and one thing that strikes me funny, somebody that's that's going to go into the shed and do what he did. He woke up, washed his face, and brushed his teeth. <laughs> no way. No way. If you're that down and depressed and you got that in your mind, you don't care what your teeth look like. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it. Make I'm sense. sorry. They found evidence. Of, they found evidence in his mouth. They found evidence that he brushed his teeth. Oh yeah. You're fading in and out, Nosey. You got a bad connection. You said, "Why did he wake up with the brush his teeth and then decide later?" All right. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Okay. No. What she what she was saying was they found evidence of him brushing his teeth. Um. You. you there's a video. I think I have the video. Hold on. I think I have the video. Maybe. Uh, Maybe I'm going to stop out Sherelle and let someone else come in. I just had wanted to make that comment. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. And took his daily vitamins. Absolutely. So why are you going to take your daily vitamins, brush your teeth, wash your face, do everything you normally do, and then go outside and, and do what you did? Okay. Uh, can you show me your face really quickly, Dolphin Mom? And that sounds really familiar, Dolphin Mom. Have you never heard come of up that. before? What about you, Ebony? Just flash it on and on, off. Thank you. You can put it back on. Hey, Ebony. Hi, Hi. Sherelle. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing? Let me try this one more time. Dolphin Mom, can you show me your face really quick? You're on mute. She's on mute. That's why she can't hear me. Let me try. Dolphin Mom, you're on mute. Can you hear me? Sorry. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's start with you, e Ebony. What did you want to add to the conversation? Um, first and foremost, I'm glad you guys are talking about this. It's really a sad story. It really is. And I pray that he comes out of this really good. I really do. And I pray that she gets what she deserves. I just want to talk about the videos that she posted on there. I don't know if you already talked about it. But there's one video when she's on TikTok and she's discussing that she brought something from the FDA and it was poisonous. Uh -huh. And that's why she brought it. But the way she yep. was saying it was was crazy. <laughs> but uh -huh. there's another video when she's in a car with him. I guess they're just coming from the hospital. And if you watch the end of the video when she's talking about going to Mexico to buy some stuff, uh -huh. he asks her, isn't that illegal? But the look that he gave her was like the look of like he knew something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. yep. And that bothered my soul so bad, even though I don't know him. But if you just look at his eyes and how he stares at her, it is very, it's very spooky. Uh, Dolphin Mom, what did you want to add to the conversation? I just wanted to say, like I had said earlier to you, you know, I've been following her. I was a supporter. I sent stars on the Facebook thing. Uh -huh. Um, I almost, like an idiot, almost followed her tricks. 
Mm. You know, I was downing myself. I was struggling and which I still am with my weight and everything. And back in 2019, I think it was, is we had a phone conversation on messenger and, um, you know, she was telling me, Oh, you you know, everybody, we're all beautiful. You have to be strong, blah, blah, blah. And then she started talking about all like the herbal stuff and all that. And thankfully that <laughs> I said something to my husband because I almost went down that route. You know what I mean? Mm. And then I didn't go on the, I, you know, I stopped watching her for a little while because of life. And, um, then I get on and then all this stuff is unraveling. And I was like, Oh my God. But in the videos that I have seen and watched and that I have, Vaughn never, ever so much raised his voice to her. And even if he did, his voice was like still like that love voice. Like it wasn't like yelling or it was like, no, please, I need help. I'm going to go get help. Why are you trying to make me change my mind? Whatever you say, it's not going to make me change my mind. I need to go get help. Yeah. And she scream and say, no, like, it's just crazy. This woman, I feel in my heart, she, she did, she did something. She did this because there's no way he's six, two. Cause she always used to say my six, two, my six foot two man, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. she did something. She did this. This was not him. He was ready to leave, to go home, to meet his family again, because there was a video that stated it and that they all reconciled everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it feels premeditated, premeditated to me. But why doesn't it feel premeditated to the cops? They exactly. probably working for her. Yeah, they. I'm pops telling you, they, they don't. They don't surprise me no more. People. Yeah, I don't know. But just, can we I, not? Can we? Can we not? I'm sorry. Can we just not blame him? Because yeah, when you're with someone for so long, you. I mean, partners trust people. That's like signing a document about money or bank. You you want to trust them that they have the right intentions for them. And I hate that a lot of people are blaming him because we all have been in situations, but just stop, just stop blaming him. Yeah, no, it's I not mean, him. It's not mean, him. It's not him at all. He loved her. I mean, you could see it. I, again, I've watched videos. Like I, I, the, I was a supporter up to, what, two weeks ago when I saw all this unravel. I'm like, I can't support a woman like this. No way. Because mm -hmm. if it was the other way around, the man would be getting dogged up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? Rainy Joe saying she's Hispanic. She's Hispanic. We know she's Hispanic. But show yeah. the report with the, what the officers identify her as oh yeah i i can't put that up i have it should i put it i can't it's not redacted i did redact yeah. it yeah no. she's half mexican or something like that she said yeah the she's officers half. identify her as white on the report oh wow mm -hmm. but you know what listen that's like me though i'm white but mm -hmm. i'm puerto rican you would never know that i was puerto rican until i start running my mouth <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's the thing with her. I mean, she doesn't even speak Spanish clearly, but no. she is white and she tries to speak Spanish to whatever, but you would never know that she was Latina because uh oh, she's going in and out. Mm -hmm. But sure, I do agree with you on the on the race thing. Um because I do second, believe I gotta get off, honey. I my kids need to eat dinner and stuff. But I just Thank wanted to say that, that if you need any, you know, like any videos, whatever, I do have some if you want anything. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in. I appreciate your concern because this no is no problem. Honey. You I'll guys be safe. Take care. Bye. Uh, hold on. Pia? Well, I, yeah, I just wanted to add one more thing when I got off. She just went on live six hours ago quoting, I'm fine and I'm the happiest. Oh, see, of course see, she is. <laughs> she's yeah. acting suspect. Let me tell you the, the, the things that concern me about her behavior. Uh, the moving him from the hospital, Four not times. letting the parents see him, the mm -hmm. mother. Um, what else does she do? Being the over controlling the way that she was acting in the hospital mm -hmm. to the point that it made the nurses concerned. The, the deleting videos. Mm -hmm. And I went back over all her deleted videos because I, I have a copy of them. There are ones that are very incriminating. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me put one up. Where's that one where she said, I will just, could just kill you. Let me see if I can find that video. I have oh, some. That was when she was heavier. Have the nurses contacted the cops that are working with him at the hospital? If they are suspicious of something, do y'all think that the nurses have spoken to the police officers? Yeah, I'm sure they have. And they have other agencies involved now. CPS. Of course. Uh, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I want to play this video that she has actually taken down. Dude, we've been working hard. I'm proud. Are you proud of us, baby? Yeah. Kind of like we did. Yeah, we're fine as hell. Very deep. I love you, you, and I want you so bad that it makes me want to hurt you. Oh, why, wow. would she, why would she take that down? Why is she she, look at what she's eating with a damn knife. Why I'm, she I'm bringing you up, Anji. I'm bringing you up. Why would she take that video down? Evidence. Exactly. I mean, it's a lot, but I evidence. love you so much that I'm willing to hurt you if you ever try to leave me, is what I hear. In my yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hi, Anji. How are you doing today? You're on mute. You're on mute. Hey, I'm doing okay, except for all the information um, that you and the panelists are are sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, I am more on the side of race because um, we are not given any benefit of the doubt. But in some, I would say maybe most cases, um, anyone who has a whiter um, racial complexion than us is given a benefit of the doubt right to the end. And my Uh example is, unfortunately, it happens to be in Arizona. Remember the Jordi Arias case? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I remember? For the the longest time, that woman was portrayed. um, I don't know how many times we watched that video of her Remember doing the um, cartwheels in mm-hmm. the cell? Mm-hmm. And for the longest time, she was, I think she continued, social media wasn't as big as it is now, but she continued posting. And um, what she did was the most abhorrent crime you can ever think of. But remember, she got fans even while she was in trial. And media people were um, stumbling over themselves to actually talk to her. And yet evidence showed, and she had documented what she had done. So this doesn't, and and, um, I don't know what she was on, but she wasn't on the K and all these other things that this woman is on. For her to even tell the um, story of the shed, is beyond myself because I've never seen like so like I sense. said, my kid got in a fight, a fist fight, and they came through. Everyone was split up. Everyone was handcuffed. It was like, oh my gosh, everyone was taken down to the station. She's not taken down to the station. Question, like I don't understand it, but okay, let's just back up and give her give this police department the benefit of the doubt. But this investigation has gone nowhere near the investigations I'm used to. Like, she uh, moved the rope. Before there was, they- there was no rope. There was no rope. There was never a rope and there was never a knife. Well, I'm sorry. The cop said he moved the rope. That's what he she said. Might, she might have a friend at the uh, police department. That, that could be one thing, too. Mm-hmm. Or somebody, or someone. Evidence. You don't photo, they have people that come in forensics and all they do is photograph the scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With a hardcore yeah. camera, not your video cam. Mm-hmm. But um, Sarah, we are we are looking at this from the lens of how we are viewed. Right. A law enforcement in most cases. Mm-hmm. And how we are treated by law enforcement in most cases. In in this case, um, 
she was treated how anyone who isn't black. Okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying yeah. maybe this is protocol. <laughs> well, I've never seen protocol like this, but maybe um, you're right. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it, they have stashed somewhere all the evidence that I need to make me feel comfortable. I, I'm going to need a measuring tape. Uh, I'm going to need, need the little uh, yellow cones with yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I'm going to need a deeper questioning to had he mentioned doing this. What is he going through? What, you know, what do you know that's going on in his head? You know, ask him questions. Has he been depressed before? Well, she says in that report that two months prior that he tried to unalive himself again. Again, she says it to another officer. We, exactly. She says it to another officer. How do you I still know have that? to read the other officers. I might do that later. Let but, me read this because this is, I've been holding this comment because if this is true, this is awesome. Um, Let's see, Washington, D.C., as first reported by Court TV, Michael Ayala and Crime and Law TV Network, Jesse Weber and MSNBC, Ari, Ari, Melbourne and Inside Ari. Edition, Joe, uh, I'm sorry, Jim Mower, John Walsh, Walsh has just, uh, oh, it's so small, has just put, uh, wait, has just report in in the last few minutes ago and the FBI will be holding a news conference on Friday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern and 8 Pacific. Yay. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my yes. God, you guys. You yes. guys. Finally. Oh yes. yes. Finally. And, and finally. And, and Ari Melba on MSNBC is a lawyer himself. Yeah, and I yet, know who he and, is. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I noticed that Joy Reid, who follows him on MSNBC in the evenings, uh -huh. was um, um, also educating herself on what was going on. So I'm so thankful that at least oh. um, now the FBI is getting involved because this is oh. now everybody's saying it's a spam comment. So I hate that. Um, that's what I was it's just about. To... Oh, you guys, oh, that's not funny. Why would somebody funny, do that, guys? That that's Maybe it's her. Jeez, but we're going to keep t doing it until they pick it up. Honey, uh, did you want to sound off? Yes. Um, There's one thing in the report that stands out to me the most, and that's about the chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. The chair was wobbly. You were unable to cut him down. So what happened then? How were you able to get the knife and cut him down with what chair then? Yep. Where's the second chair? I don't understand that. I, do, I don't understand. That, that that detective, whoever he was, is very incompetent. I'm sorry. And why was that chair good enough to hold his six foot two more, weighs more than her? Yeah, it's good for him saying, to get up there, tie the rope. It went, it went from saying she tried to stand on a wobbly chair, she wasn't able to, till she got a knife to cut him down. <laughs> It's not making sense. It doesn't make sense. Mm -mm. Exactly. If it doesn't make sense, the chair is that wobbly. But you made sure to include how verbally uh, mean he was. I'll put it that exactly. way. Exactly. So and where's the other chair at? How were you able to cut him down? And he would get so mean that you would have to leave. Yeah. And wait for him to turn to his wonderful, loving self. But yet, in the exactly. video that Amber played. He walked away from her while she was still mm -hmm. talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not buying exactly. it. We are not buying it at all. Compare that to She's her. A narcissist. Behavior. She needs to be investigated thoroughly, and that's it. Yeah, every we all of our instincts are correct. I'm yep. sorry. Yeah, she has something to do and, with this. And if the police don't follow through, they have to be held accountable because yeah. yes. this is a dereliction of duty on their part. Because, I, okay, I can imagine if something happens to my husband um, in our home mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then the police come and I tell them, okay, I had, to, I had to leave the area so I could take care of the dog. Really? <laughs> that would be the first thing that they would start questioning. Mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not buying it. We're not buying no. it. She was no. losing control. He wanted to leave her. And so she took her opportunity. And that was that. Yeah. No, and he didn't want to be with her no more. He didn't even sleep with her anymore. I seen all the text messages. I seen a lot of stuff. But but honey, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not police. 
we're not the police. How can we come to this conclusion? And they can't. <laughs> Exactly. They don't, they don't want answers and they don't want to deal with it. Right. right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. The question. They're um, lazy, incompetent, and all of that. They need to be taken off the case and they need to be investigated. Yeah. Right. I, I have a question, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. So, in some of those videos, you can tell she is trying to um, overpower him in terms of the way she's talking to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that um, she could have started um, giving him the K because once he was on the K, he wasn't as maybe verbal and questioning as um, he had been in the past because she, she does seem controlling, but then um, the fights seem to happen when he seems lucid for him to question her, especially those text messages when he's asking about money and she's mm -hmm. not giving any money. Yeah. And she's even ask, he's even asking her, can you lend me 2000 plus dollars? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cause because he wanted to get his own place. Oh yeah. yeah. He needed to get out, oh, he wanted to get there away. You go. There you he go. He said that he felt like he wasn't gonna survive if he stayed with her, he said that. Yeah. yeah. Honey, you are on the spot. Listen, guys, I got a lot of people backstage. Let me bring up some more people. Thank you Take so care, much everyone. for calling in. We are, Bye. 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 My face. we are speaking up. We are not having it. You want to stay, Bonj? Yes. Hi, uh, Diva. Hey, Sin. Hi. Hey. Hey, Crypto. Uh, let, sound off, Sin. You sound off first. Have you been okay. starting to follow the case? Yeah, I've watched uh, Molly. I Saw it on Amber, and then I went to Molly Go Lightly. Uh -huh. And what didn't make sense to me is just like the other lady said, what happened? How was he able to get on the chair? And from my understanding, it was a flat, rusted roof. It wasn't like a V-shaped roof. Right. So how was he able to get up there and and do that to himself and not? And she couldn't cut him down. What was she said? She had to go look for a chair. Okay, what was the chair at that he got up on with? You know, mm -hmm. and so I saw that her, his mother, his his stepmother, blinked his, asked him a question and said, Hold "Do on, you so know who his stepmom?" Hold on. Yeah, that's Tulsa. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. His stepmom asked him a question. Uh. Do you know who did, did somebody do this to you? And he blinked his eyes twice and she ran out the room to go get her husband, which is his father. Uh -huh. So, you know, God's going to pull this young man through because there has to be some type of justice well, well, for him. Well, well, sin, we have to deal in reality. Uh, no brain activity doesn't sound good. I'll put it that way. But well, we, yeah. you're right. But we're not God. I've seen... Miracles happen before. Right. And you know, they're doing, they uh, did blood work and, you know, they should have contacted the police from day one when they found that she was trying to uh, put some, in a, some type of stuff into his uh, IV. I mean, yeah. I would have had her arrested then. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy. Hi, Crypto. Sound off. You're on mute. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, now, with all the things that are going on in these YouTube streets, is I, I find it uh, appropriate time that our people get educated. With this, even from the Tasha K situation to this situation, it's like it's like at some point in time, someone needs to step up and begin educating. Like um, Tasha K, for instance, there's no reason for a house to get taken if she had had an asset protection trust. Anybody that's on YouTube that's slamming people the way she is should have all this stuff in order and should have a living tr uh, uh, asset protection trust. In this gentleman's uh, instance, um, he should have had one in advance, which would, which would have probably been to his wife, but a medical power of attorney. As soon as he started being sick and... and, and uh, having those seizures and things of that nature the, and, and, and was trying to leave his wife, the first thing I would have done was to have gotten me a medical power attorney to my mom, to my sister, to whomever, so that she would not have the power 
to uh, tell the hospital what to do with me, or I, or that person could have stepped right in and uh, and took over my medical condition. It's just it. I, I just find it really uh, uh, outrageous that so many of our people are not prepared for these types of of these types of situations. And then you're right. My mom was in the hospital, and uh, as soon as she had no brain activity. Um, the insurance wouldn't cover it for her to continue to yep. stay on. They, they were just like, you know, um, yep. there's nothing else we can do. So no, no brain activities. Uh, even if you guys look at the, the Murray Shrivo situation, I think, no, I can't think of her first name, but the, 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 the state where, where Bush tried to get in when the husband wanted to pull the plug, um, when they have no brain activity, it just, it, 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 it's basically over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, 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 sound off, Viva. Can you hear us? I'm hearing a clicking noise. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Crypto, I'm going to drop you. Thank you so much for calling in. Okay. You're on mute. She's on mute. Hey. Okay. Oh. No, uh, go ahead. Uh, hey, Cheryl. Hey, Amber. Hi. Hey. Sound Hi. Off. Um, I just wanted to say, like, you know, Going back to the police investigation, um, you know, a total of 31 minutes. Like, mm -hmm. really? Were these guys picked out of a out of a comic book or something, these officers? Donut shop. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Yeah. it takes me it longer takes to drive to work. Yeah. It takes me yeah. longer to drive to work yeah. than how they investigated this. Yeah. And it's if you're going to be cut down... That rope is going to be frayed. I'm sorry. It's it going sure to be is. frayed. Yeah. No matter how, new. you know, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, for them, there for is them, not officer that said it looked frayed, but they didn't compare the two with the knife. They just kind of took her word, took her word. Up everything and, and moved on. They didn't identify, did the knife match other knives in the drawer? Things like this. Well, they Where didn't even the go in the house. No. I know. I, I, they, thank you. It, it was just a bat botch investigation. And, and they also said there was another car there. So whose car was it? Whose car was it? Why I mean, did she start like CPR, stop CPR, put the dogs away? Once you start CPR, do not stop it. Well, the thing is, isn't her dogs like little chihuahuas or something? Yeah. What's it going to do? Chomp his leg off or something? I don't know. Like, but you know. I'm not going to be worried about my dogs if my husband. Right? Why didn't she just tell her daughter to call 911 when she heard her screaming? That's, that's if what she I heard said. her screaming. Yeah. Why didn't she tell the daughter to call 911 when she wasn't home? And those kids had to take care of that and I see know. that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And you know when and when those, she was when she kids. when she was on a live and he was having that seizure, she was videoing all that. She was giving him stuff. Who knows what he was taking? Cayenne yeah. pepper and Ativan and Xanax. But you yeah. didn't really see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. So for everybody to say that he knew what was what he was doing, I don't believe that for a second. Yeah. But if and she believed in so many herbal things, why was she giving him Ativan and uh, Xanax? Sedation. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Also, Carol, um, um, in in her videos, she's talking about how she doesn't believe in law enforcement. She doesn't believe in science. But then on the other hand, she's talking nonsense, utter nonsense when she's talking about biofeedback and how she's downloading people. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. She's so ignorant. And yet, she um, and she acknowledges things on tape that mm -hmm. in hindsight, you're thinking, oh no, this was not um, something that happened in a short period of time. She was documenting her crimes as yeah. uh, when she was coming online, especially when she says, yeah, we went to Mexico and without prescriptions, we actually bought the Ativan and the Xanax and took um, medication after medication. And how, um, remember how big those bags were with the um, with the K and the other stuff that she was giving him? Mm -hmm. We see it maybe monthly on the news where somebody has 
taken something as simple as vitamin D. Yeah, and you can OD on vitamins too. Yes, and 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 ends up um in a hospital because yep. they did not they were not taking any of these legal over the counter stuff um yeah. we, we without a doctor's knowledge. Yeah. So, okay. so uh, imagine something you're imagine something you're buying off the internet. Mhm. Mm you don't know what with, you get. With her saying that, let me play this and you tell me if y'all think it is premeditated. This was a video a year ago, okay? So let me know if y'all can hear it. It's backwards, right? Gonna go That's research it about. or anything. Really need to stop eating. I'm stressed. I'm not gonna go research it or anything. Well, so I, a giveaway. I I believe that you know all these videos of her doing all this stuff. I believe you know that she's to blame for this. Mm -hmm. However, I think with all these videos, um if she's found guilty of something, she's she's probably going to end up in a psychiatric ward somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right. It's not it's not going to be jail time. Or she will plead. It's going to be an insanity plea to, for sure. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. But maybe um, you know, I was thinking also maybe they told her that he was brain, you know, his brain, no activity of the brain, right, right. just to to. I don't know, not to let her know that he's coming out of it because after they saw her do what she did. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well too, you. like if she, if she has an insurance policy because he tried to do this, they won't pay out her insurance policy nope. anyway, right? No. Nope. Nope. So if she thinks she's, she's making money other ways, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. she's just putting herself way out there and I think she's in too deep now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Tulsa, sound off really quickly. Hi, hey, yes, Tulsa. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? Good. Right. Okay. So, first of all, I feel like it was a safe, 
it's like watching a satanic ritual before your eyes. Um, I know in the earlier videos, um, she had recorded Vaughn and she was very argumentative with him. Like um, he was trying to be dismissed, like, you know, let it go. I don't want to talk nowhere right near the what? way she described him in the police report. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, uh, I want to talk right now. I want to talk. Right. Why? Why can't we talk right now? That bothered and irritated me. So I could only mm -hmm. imagine what he was dealing with when that camera was not rolling. Mm -hmm. This is like a modern day lynching on on a live. Uh -huh. This man was healthy. He was built. He doesn't look the same. Mm -mm. He does not look the same. This woman sat up and and watched this man seize and said, oh, he's seizing. Um, okay, yes. so this is his third one. It was like 42 minutes. Okay, the next one was 46. And then it's like, how many seizures does he have to have? Yeah. Before you call yeah. One. yeah. So she even she showed a video where he was talking and they were talking and he was trying to walk yeah, was, away and she, yeah, but, about the knife and she said, know, Oh, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. You're gonna make me lose my thought. Okay, but okay. Um <laughs> no, I was on I was on go ahead. Um not even that, just like giving him those doses of that we don't know what it was. And then, like putting cayenne pepper in his mouth, that's torture. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's torture. She's out of her mind. And someone said, You're playing the race card here. Let me tell you again why I brought in the race card. I feel that this investigation was botched. Yep. That they just took her word verbatim. Hello. They did not do a, an investigation that I'm used to. Exactly. Yes. Come on. Uh, for the longest time, they gave her too much power. She was allowed to say who could see him and who can't see him. When do the, the hospital had to step in? Yeah. Right. Even though the nurses were complaining about her. Mm -hmm. Usually, when they feel that that person that's visiting you is abnormal, I'll put it that way, you get investigated. Yeah. Yep. Or and they'll put it no restrict or no visitors, no, no visitors allowed at all. Not even her. Right. Sherelle, that's white privilege. And the reason why I'm saying this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it make sense. When a white woman cries, is different from when a black woman cries. This black woman has been crying. I want to see my son. Yeah. Yep. This woman is so immature and so just out of this world that she is holding this woman from seeing her son in the hospital. That's sick. I want to read this comment. It says, I have a bad feeling they're going to do nothing and she will get away with it. And that is terrible. Let me tell We're you something. We're not going to put that out there in the universe, They're going to do something. Well, I've been reaching out to other outlets and stuff like that. Mainstream media, stuff like that. And they're showing no interest right now. There is a chance, you guys, that she will get away what we feel she's done wrong. Don't, don't think that that's why we got to keep talking about this. We have to be putting a spotlight on this. This woman needs to be stopped. And there's a 99%, no, 95% chance that she will get away with it. She's been getting away with it this long. And, and we even can get seen talking about it because she is probably hoping that um, something else will happen and the news cycle is going to turn to some to something else or we get interested in something else. But um, in the long in the long run, we need to advocate for him until yeah, exactly until something happens. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. because it's because it's a it's a black male. Mainstream media won't probably pick it up unless we start knocking on doors and knocking them down. Just like because when a white woman goes street. missing, if there was a white man or a white days. woman, they would be blowing it up. If it oh was a white God. man, yeah, woman, and they would have. If it was a black then, woman, you know, yeah, if it was a black mm -hmm. woman caught seen putting something in a, in a in a tube or something, oh, they're coming in. Okay, y'all, 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 see them swatting in. 
Uh, let me say this really quick. Herbalists have said that herbs she mixed made poison. Wow. Poison. Wow. Yeah, because one page, one lady called in uh, yesterday on Molly Golightly's channel and said that she purchased the case stuff. And what happened is, you know, when you are in chronic pain and you see a pain management doctor, mm -hmm. every time you go every month, you have to take a urine test. Well, this one particular month, she fell into this girl's thing and she took some of it she went and bought it and took some of it and she the doctor said oh my god heroin is showing up in your blood i mean in your urine you have a dirty ua mm -hmm. mm. yep that well what i don't get oh too, no that, that was the me, that was the f word I still got a lot of calls. oh that's what right it was the f, f yeah, word the f that's word. right f word i'm sorry Hi. Well, what I don't what I don't get to is when she was caught putting something in his tube. Why wasn't it tested right then and there? There's so many, so many things gone botched in. This so many thing. unanswered questions Too that many. it just keeps spinning us. Listen, I mean, Sherelle, this this draws me to the Will, Willie Lynch letters. It was three words to keep us separated and divided: uh, fear, distrust, and envy. And what I feel like is this woman wanted control over this man mm -hmm. she wanted she now she is thriving like she is living her best life because now she can give him whatever he wants in his mouth because his body is helpless his body was let me uh is it string eight can you hear me yeah yes um hey everybody it's straight no chaser straight no chaser can you sound off really quickly <laughs> yes really quickly um also you know how when um there's been cases before I, I can't remember specifically which ones but sometimes they they find out that there's an affair going on or that she has some type of relationship with oh, someone wow. in the police department yeah. uh -huh. is it possible for them to subpoena the responding officer's phone records to see if there's any type of relationship that she has with any one of the officers, especially the one that wrote or supposedly typed up the, the report. So, mm -hmm. you it's know, possible. I doubt that it will happen unless, mm -hmm. you know, we just need the proper it, it, authorities fishy. to step in. Right. It's just very fishy to me because it, the way, like you, like, um, the Miss Molly was saying, as far as like the, just even you were saying the adjectives that were used, it sounds personal. It sounds uh -huh. like Very even like, personal. Yeah, yeah. And it sounds like either what um Nosy was saying about either her defense attorney or a personal relationship, someone she knows inside that it's a small town. So small town, you know, it seems like everyone knows everybody or is associated with someone, you know, you know, closely, whether it's relative wise or relationship. So I'm just wondering if there, this is so suspicious. I'm wondering if she has some type of communication, if they can subpoena records to see if there are text messages or phone calls that would incriminate her story or, or the officers. If um, we get the right eyes on this case. So yeah. that's what we're trying to do behind the scenes. Amber and I, we want the right eyes. Oh, you know where? I just thought about it. Put it on black Twitter. Oh, That's yeah. A good idea. It'll we, blow up. We, yeah. I mean, It'll blow that. up on black Twitter. Trust me with her picture. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we could do that. Uh, but we're reaching to other authorities that have the authority to. Right. But, you know, you don't know who watches. I mean, who looks at the black Twitter, though? But I'm saying that's just a step to use, you know, a tool mm -hmm. to use. Can yeah. I yeah, say we're gonna this? Do... Um, oh. Sorry, I, I'm seeing a lot of people. Okay, because, uh, okay. I see a lot of people of my ethnicity, okay, <laughs> in the chat saying, quit making it about race. It makes it uncomfortable. It's time to get uncomfortable. Exactly. Please. Yep, okay. you're right, Thank Amber. You. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So if this is over. uncomfortable, this is. And I'm a black live. woman, so I cannot be racist, my love. I cannot be yes. racist. This would, and I'm telling you, this would have been treated totally differently if this man was, if he was the one that did this to her. Exactly. He would have been straight down to the police department, to the FBI to answer questions. Not gone. No, ma'am. We'll take you to the hospital after this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And thank you, so, Amber, um, for stepping up yeah. and saying that. It really means a lot. Then uh, don't go no, at me. Good. Don't go at me. I'm a white woman as well, but I'm behind Amber 110%. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There you go. Uh, no, Chase, did you have anything else to add? And, um, I don't care because we're talking facts. We're talking stuff that she put out there. Yep. Exactly. And, and and it's a black person who has been harmed in our case and based on her own words. And it's her who is white. So mm -hmm. it's already about race because it's a white person and a black person. You're don't right. We're yeah. just and we're putting it on race because we want to ex expose the fact that this investigation was botched. Very much. Mm -hmm. it was very it was much. It was, it was that's the only reason that we could think of. Like, why aren't they questioning her? Why is she being allowed to put mm -hmm. saliva in your head and then not only not get in trouble, but we're putting on, on him. social media? That's yeah. Yeah. And why are her kids still with her? Oh yeah. my God! Let's not the talk children. About Exactly. Uh, no, Chase, I'm and drop the you. Did you have she's, anything else to add? And she's the only one. No, no, I'm just in agreement. She's the only one that's not getting these seizures. For some reason, she's the only right. one that seems she's to not be affected. The only one not getting seizures. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I to can't. the point where she can't drive her or, or, you know, move the RV or, or make all these decisions daily. Why is she why is she able to fully function? And right. everyone seems to mysteriously get sick off of this. Even even down to the chicken. No, no. Exactly. Uh, no, Chase, I'm going to uh, remove you. I'll bring you back. Okay. But I, I need I don't like so many people on the screen. I need to bring Diva. OK. okay. okay. Thanks. Hey, Cheryl, I can get off and I'll listen. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bonji. Hey, Diva. Hey. Well, I went over in time. People keep wanting to speak. Go. Uh, I know. I love, I to hear, love to hear what you're going to say. Yeah, really quickly. When was the, this police report written? And what time was it written? Uh, uh, I have it. So I have yeah. a, a redacted one and then an unredacted one because it's got all the information. Add, you know, Let me addresses, names. Let me right. Like that. I don't need you to put it up. The reason why I'm saying that is because what I think is when they arrived there, right? They heard what she had to say. Now he needed medical help. So yeah. they got the ambulance there, right? And they took him to the hospital. So my thing was, did they get this report from her at the hospital? Because I doubt they were standing there while this man was laying there getting this they, report they, from her. They were her. standing there? Yes. They According were. to the report, they was taking the information while the fire department was mm -hmm. doing CPR and all of that. They offered okay. to take her to some other place. She said, no, let me get she the kids no. scheduled and I want to go to the hospital. They never took her in. No, 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 no. I'm not asking if they took her in. So you're saying this whole report, everything was taken you're on the scene? On scene. On the scene. Yeah. Now, see, that that's interesting to me that she was that stable to right. sit exactly. and get that level of detail on um, why her husband is potentially maybe not going to no longer be here. You Further could really go ahead. On in the report, the cop tells her, "You don't, you know, when they take him out on the stretcher, this could be disturbing." Did you get to that part, Amber? Uh, like, yeah, I, I read it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I meant to re read the whole report, but everyone's they. We want to talk about this because yeah. we are pissed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and well, here's the thing too, right? The higher level of investigation will come if the hospital gave the police, the authorities, some type of report to say, I know they said he did X, Y, Z, but every all the evidence that we show does not correlate with X, Y, Z oh happening. Oh, my God. Okay, I forgot you are a nurse. Yes. You're saying that if the police wanted to give the hospital the authority to make different decisions, they could do that? Well, no. no, what I'm saying is the hospital, when he got there, you can tell when somebody tried to do what he allegedly did to himself, right? Mm -hmm. There's going to be some different evidence that they would see. Maybe some, because I don't know how long he was allegedly up there, right? Mm -hmm. She doesn't know either. She She's saying that he just, one minute I was seeing him, the next minute he was in the shed. And then when I went and walked in there, I saw whatever. And maybe it was like five minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I don't think it was instantaneously. And plus, she had to cut him down. So there's minutes right there, too, because she had to go get the scissors, right? Or the mm -hmm. knife or whatever. So yeah. there would be evidence around here 
that is that would correlate with yes he did try to do that to himself there will be other things that they can tell to say that would would, would match up to what she was saying happened and so but what they, i'm saying in the report oh diva i saw where her, her dad his dad <laughs> okay you know how if you're gonna have a have that nuisance around your neck but according to his father he looked at the nuisance marks on his neck. It wasn't like it. The nuisance, the marks were like he was be being dragged. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying it the wasn't hospital, from being hung. Right. The, right hospital, but I'm the hospital report. That's what I'm saying. Right. Oh. The hospital report can tell you all of this information. If yes, it, they're in agreement with that. Or if they feel that nah, something else happened. Oh my God, so Diva. We need the hospital report yeah. to see what they wrote yeah. in their report. And when they did the blood work, when they looked at his pupils, because, you know, I, I don't know everything in terms of, you know, um, what, what it should look like. But I know they can tell by your pupils. They can but tell by the, around your neck. They could tell all of this stuff, okay? They know the difference. So that's what I want to know. Like, what did this hospital report say? So if the hospital doesn't report to the authorities, I know you said this man did X, Y, Z, but everything that we tested and we looked at is not matching up with X, Y, Z. That's when they can go back and circle back to her and say, listen, you said this happened. We need to ask you some more questions. Because but, the, but the that that wouldn't be that. that wouldn't be released to the public, would it? Yes, no. it would. No, not the not the hospital report. Yeah. That's HIPAA. No, That's not HIPAA. the hospital, and but the police means report. That we really need the proper authorities to investigate investigate this case. They have to do their job. So he's been on life support or in a coma mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. uh, right. was it March twenty second, Amber? Twenty third. March twenty third. What? If this was properly done, like you're saying, that they uh, match the police report to the medical uh, report from the doctor, isn't this more well, than enough time to kind of realize these don't match up? Well, it depends on, like I said, what did those doctors write when he first came in? What is in his medical records? What was in his system when they did the blood work? Does this, uh, 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 whatever they was using, does it show up in your blood work? Um, there's things that you can 100% tell um, by blood work, by looking in the pupils, by looking around his neck. I want to know what does that first report documented say from the hospital in the medical records about, you know, his condition. Yeah. So that's going to be on the about. ER report, too, because that's uh, well, the ER report. I, it just looked like the whole town is trying to cover. Right. right. The mistakes they made. Yeah, yeah, it was go. May 23rd, not March. May 23rd. So, not March. so Sin, you're saying you feel like mistakes were made. by. Yep different individuals and instead of coming clean and saying this wasn't done they're trying yep. to cover it up right because he apparently you know what how many times was he transferred to a different hospital four 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 times so uh, well, if you well, think about it now i've worked in the hospital right i'm sorry Sam. when the, I, the, i've worked in the hospital they're going to send their chart with you but mm -hmm. it's not it's handwritten it's, it hadn't had time to be dictated and printed out or whatever. So they're just going to send the chart with you. But all the reports, everything, some of the things I said, okay, we'll send it over to you later. Like, but if this man kept getting transferred and transferred and transferred, and now he's in a VA hospital, come on now. But they have we electronic medical records now, though, Sherelle. They have electronic medical records where you push the button and you can get these records. Yeah. And they got to send your records when they're transferring you to another right. facility because the other doctors have to look at what, what you know, what transpired, you treated, uh, what right. medications yep. you were on, what did they do for you so far. The problem I have with them not doing anything to her, the minute a nurse caught this woman exactly. in the hospital, she should have went to jail. To something in his feeding tube bag that is way more than problematic right yeah. uh, hey, um, I have answer a this question. question oh answer this question diva uh can the mother get the hospital records now she didn't want them to see the, nope. the mother and she, she cannot she, she cannot because he's married 
So, and, and she cannot because too, like, I think I was, I was driving cause I was at the store, but someone else came up and said how, you know, medical proxy and all of that. Um, it's not that easy for someone, once you are incapacitated, like you can't speak for yourself. It's not that easy for someone else to just come in and say, you know, I'm so-and-so I'm, I need the records or whatever. No, it's not that easy. But, okay. Well, this is what I heard yesterday from Molly's there his mother is getting an attorney and yeah, since they been. banned the wife from coming to the hospital okay she can't even go back to the hospital anymore from my understanding yeah. then the mother is trying to make getting an attorney to see if she can just get the executive power of attorney right. medical it's power time, yeah well yes i have a solution of what we can do nope. we can call the neglect hotline in yuma arizona we can report it to them. And also we can call the police department, get an email. Let's send these videos. Let's flood them up. Let's call those hotlines. Let's, let's get on it as soon as possible. Okay. Report adult neglect, adult uh, abuse. Viva, let me drop you for a minute and bring up other people. Okay. Yeah, sure. sure. Wait, wait, wait. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Sherelle. Thank you. Sherelle, don't drop Diva yet real quick. Okay. Because you're, you're no, I'm not dropping Diva. Oh, okay. okay. So then let me take you down and bring you back, okay? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Diva. So, okay, explain this because I know a lot of people don't know. Um, I, you know, so for him to be considered brain dead, that means a total of at least, what, nine to ten minutes of no oxygen to the brain um, mm -hmm. plus that 27 to 45 minutes before they arrive. You know, the, the, you can have even less time um, of no um, oxygen to the brain and you can still be declared brain dead, right? right. They do a test for the test, the um, brain activity. Mm -hmm. And um, when they do that test, if the activity, like the different levels, like I can't call it all out. Like I don't know it offhand, right? right? But if the different levels don't come out, they just declare you brain dead and that's it. Right. Like, you know, yeah. it, it's a wrap. So I don't know. That's the other thing too. When the I, you said the fire department was there doing CPR, like all of this, I I wonder what all of these notes said. Even when he was on the ride to the hospital, like did they determine he was brain dead on the ride there? Did they determine it once he got to the hospital? When did this come about? It's um, so many questions that we need to answer to. And somebody asked him with your super chat there, Sherelle, why was she able to keep moving him from hospital to hospital? Because she has the right as his wife at the time. Right. She had the right. All she had to do was complain, like, I don't like the care that you're giving him. Because at that particular time, and to this moment, she's not charged with anything. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Tulsa, let me drop you in. Um, could, I, could, I give the, could I give the number right quick? Yeah. Okay, so this is to Adult Protective Services in the Arizona area. Um, the phone number is 602 542 zero zero one zero let's go ahead let's get on the line tell them that we have videos get those videos to these people yeah, everybody thank you, so much yeah. for thank you tulsa i appreciate it mm -hmm. take care or stay on i'll bring you back but I, I want more people to take calls to answer the calls hold on one second hi jamie how are you i'm good how are you good um let me hold on i have one person that has is it T tia Simone? Yes, you got it right. Good job. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, sound off. I wanted to thank you. Well, I've been covering this case too. Um, I'm a smaller creator and I've been wanting to reach out to you through email. But what I wanted to ask is Viva still up here? Yeah, she's right above you. Yeah. Okay. Um, my niece is a nurse too. And I wanted to kind of, she's a nurse practitioner. I wanted to kind of compare the two things that I asked her with what you said. So wouldn't it be very, how do I put this? Okay, so you know how he has had nothing but he had seizure after seizure after seizure, even prior to him unaliving himself, right? Would, wouldn't that affect him as far as I know that he's brain dead, he's laying in a coma, he's fighting for his life, but all of those seizures that he had, 
wouldn't that affect his brain as well prior to him unaliving himself? If that makes sense. I'm trying to make sense. No, you're making sense to me. So you're saying did he have some neurological damage yeah, uh, from yeah. all the seizures that he was having that was went unattended? Oh, it's Probably. a high level possibility. It's okay. a high level possibility. Okay. Because he's had so he many, so many brain. seizures. Hmm? Can you hear me? I didn't hear what you just said. He's had so many seizures, and that was just my main concern. And then also, I don't know if you guys had seen the new police report that Justin had read out on Molly yeah. Golightly's channel. Yeah, we, we were supposed to read that today, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, she had said that prior to him unaliving himself, he had tried it once before. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And on a closet door, which... Mm -hmm. That doesn't even make any sense. I, I I never even heard of something like that. But I guess what my question is to you guys is, it's so hard to be able to put this into words. So basically, if he tried to unalive himself on a closet door, wouldn't that, don't you think that that's something that the police should have looked at? Um, How would they have known, though? No. She when gave she, it. To, she gave it to that one police officer in her report. Right, and when the when she gave it to that one police officer, he didn't even question her father. He was. They were only there for thirty three minutes. Mm -hmm. Listen, just like Marvon. This is a botched investigation. I think we can all agree to that. Yep. Hi, Jamie. Sound off really quickly. It's um. Yeah, I just wanted to say a few things. Um. Well, first, yeah, the cops not even like questioning her about well, why didn't you call us the first time he did it? Like that's exactly. pretty drastic, well, you I'm know. Sorry, that's so, what I meant. Uh, it's okay. Um, the second thing is, um, you know, I've been I grew up around addiction. You know, it runs in the family and all that. From all of the pain she's had and all of the different pharmaceutical pain meds she's been on before that she's tried and didn't worked and this bad past that she comes from and you know her dad was a gangster you know my family comes from italian mafia so you know they could be involved with anything when it comes to that type of lifestyle you know and you don't know what she's seen or been through if right. addiction could run in her family but what i'm getting at is i remember she said she was on gabapentin before I'm a pharmacy technician and gabapentin uh, has recently become a co controlled substance in the last five years uh -huh. because of it's um, the nerve pain people have and you can mix it with other medications you're on and it gives you a high. So, uh -huh. you know, my, and I hate to put my sister on blast, but it's, I, I gotta say it. She and her husband, fiance have, um, some abuse problems they you know with pills and stuff in the past they got off of it you know my sister never tried h but he did and um they both got addicted to like adderall and stuff so now that they're clean and they had a baby and they're doing the family thing they've become addicted to kratom they mm. my sister can't go without it as soon as she's running low she's got to run back to the you know tobacco shop to get more and it comes to the point where she was taking three initially, and now she takes seven handful, like handfuls with seven in them, I think like four to five times a day. Oh my gosh. Her tolerance has built up so high, and she looks just like Dre, like the face <gasps> sunken in, like just stick skinny, you know, and they can still function. You know, you can't tell that they might have a problem. I really kind of, what I'm getting at is I think she might have a, functioning addiction you know on top of the all the chemical imbalances she's created with herself and her family throwing them their their chemical balances off in their brain and causing mental you know mm -hmm. defects that like seizures and oh so it's just it's it's so deep i feel like at this point other than her, her obviously being nutty you know she reminds me of that movie misery mm -hmm. where she like keeps the guy hostage mm -hmm. um but the last thing I wanted to say is this has been gaining so much traction so quick and, and it's amazing and it's not going to stop. Yeah. And 
with everything going on, especially within that area of this state, how can a nurse, multiple uh, medical officials work there and be on the internet and not happen to come across anything like this yet? You know, people are local because I, I guarantee if a nurse in the VA hospital had seen this lady on the internet and this man, and he's laying in that bed right there, I would be going to my hospital professionals and saying something isn't right with this lady and we need to help him, you know? And I'm just surprised nobody at the VA knew or if somebody doesn't want to blow a whistle, but you know, it's, it's gotta be someone somewhere with the internet these days will, will eventually see something. But I just, like, I almost want to call the VA and be like, this lady you had here, this is what's going on. Please check out the internet, you know, oh, and we? they can, they can call like higher ups who can like have databases that could probably like talk to somebody at the next hospital, just so they're aware, like it, people around him that don't obviously know him the way we do at this point, we, those need to be the first ones to be aware because they can protect him. I mean, Amber, what she's saying is making sense. Why hasn't the hospital stepped in? I, I have no idea. But here's here's a here's one good point I want to make while she's talking about <laughs> reaching out to the to the hospital officials. Y'all have to realize this this is an election year. Okay. Oh, what are you saying? <gasps> Same. Nobody wants to be bad on the polls. They want the Nobody points. So wants if to you, be bad on the polls. If you Start do something that might throw governor, some rocks in some steady water and cause an uproar, general. you know, you yes. might lose voters exactly. who believe in you because of your opinion. Right. Exactly. Start tagging or, your governors. Yeah. Or how you go about certain situations. Yeah. This is an election year. They okay. will use this to win over. Um, I do think the FBI can totally get involved with her admission of crossing the border. But the thing with us in the last few years and our relationship with Mexico isn't really all that great. She's obviously not a super high risk because she's not transporting pounds and kilos of stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure I heard she's they could walk there from where they live. That's that close. I, I, I might be mistaken, but they were out to eat dinner and she was talking low, but I don't know. It's mm-hmm. it you just said, you, you could tell in your face that you are I'm shaking right now. Yeah, like I've never I, felt this yes, way. You know, and I've been watching this for a minute and I'm like, I'm just it doesn't there's a million people can speak up. Like I don't I could just watch. But I don't know. It was I don't the trigger you. it's yeah. it's so personal at this point because I've I don't know her. None of us truly know her. You know, right. we know what we see and what she wants to show us mm-hmm. behind the camera. All that soft, sweet stuff. She's oh, baby, baby. I know people just like that in my daily life, that that's how they talk when there's other people around. But behind mm-hmm. closed doors, no cameras. Fuck yeah. Like that, you know, and probably waving that knife around. It seems to be at every friggin table when she's just sitting there, just holds it up. Like, I don't who is knife laying around like that. Like, yeah, I got yeah. animals and I don't have kids, but like someone will get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tia, did you have to, anything else to add? I'm gonna go. You guys, you guys, I'm gonna keep watching. Have a good day. Thank you. you. No Thank problem. You. Angel, as you've been down there for a minute, uh, what did you have to add to the conversation? Uh, You're on mute. It. Okay. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can yes. hear you. Uh, I um I am just so lost because every caller that comes on, the more information you give, it's it is <laughs> just so um. But you know, the only thing that I got in my spirit was white privilege, and um, which made sense seeing that it is your election year. Okay, yeah, she's white. It's a black man. The cops probably were white. They really don't give a five cent. But had it been a black woman with a white man, that black woman was going up, no questions asked. Did I not say that? No questions I mean, asked. This is and, definitely about um, investigation. And what, a lot of things happening that we can't explain. I mean, I just don't know. Uh, Go ahead. You know, for me, I listened to what Diva said, you know, and 
it is even right before diva came on now i am not a nurse but i took care of my mom for four years before my mom passed so therefore mm -hmm. i had to get, you know all of her medication what medication gave her a uh, disreaction and they have to what medication i had to take you know to i mean to give her you know to stop this and you know and what medication mix cause this with so i had to learn all these things in dealing with my mom for four years before she passed and so for me there are some medication you have to eat they were not eating first of all not eating they are on herbal diet which is just plants plants cannot sustain when you're using plant-based um medicine whenever it is that you're using plant-based medicine you have to have protein you have to yeah and i don't know protein from plants i'm talking about animal protein in order to because after why plants also give off toxins so therefore there has to be something something that that toxin could work on you only skin and bones what is it going to work on other than other other than your nerves your brain cells what else is it going to work on it's it, well, it's, it's, it's insane to take that amount and mixing not is the amount she's taking and that she's mixing but i wanted to answer this question on the chat i do not understand why you bloggers won't call this in we, we have. have. <laughs> That's why we're doing three hour lives. That's why we're all teaming up together. We have. They will not touch it unless it goes one way or another. Or another. Yeah. Uh, it could, it could only be the. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, but that's you. Go ahead. We've got, no. we've called. We want a spotlight on this story we've called we finished me and amber were in shock we called uh tabloids we've mm -hmm. called mainstream media mm -hmm. and me and amber are like oh my god what is what what's going on here i don't know i don't yeah. know what, well, amber, they want the think? full story they want an arrest they want a death they want an america you know they want a miracle they want they want something of substance so that it can be frontline news and center. They don't want to just keep reporting on someone that's laying there. Uh, go and ahead, uh, Tommy. Is it Tommy or Tammy? I can't see. You. It's Tammy. Okay, sorry. Okay. I have a sister-in-law, Diva, this is for you, that runs medical labs in Florida. She has a double doctorate. And they have already done blood tests, let me tell you. Levels are through the roof. Let me mm. And mm. he has been moved too many times. It's going to take another two weeks, I've been told. And this is even by a VA doctor that works with VAs that have head injuries. That um, it can take about another two weeks before all his medical records are catching up to him because she has moved him so many times uh. and taken doctors <sighs> off this case. That's mm. what the police are not understanding. They're going to have to literally go hospital to hospital to hospital, even with this electronic system, because each lab's doing their own tests. They are getting overlooked and until an investigator through the medical aspect is put on this case that can right. connect the dots yeah. unless he goes left or right it's not going to be caught See, but you then. know what though the first blood work at the first hospital if the blood work was through the roof it was through the roof when they first took it in the first right. hospital right. before he even got transferred so um, I, I, something's not clean in the water right because exactly. you, it, yeah. she and knows so, somebody somewhere that this is getting. I, I'm leaning towards that. I'm leaning I, towards that. I, 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 have, I, I okay, have so. a cousin that has Rett syndrome. She walked into the hospital walking. She's now on a ventilator because they laid her flat and she aspirated. The hospital mm -hmm. covered everything up for years. She finally came home seven years after going in. She can no longer walk, but 
my aunt, who is taking care of my cousin, could talk until she was five. Mm. But it took an act of Congress for my aunt to get the medical release to be able to care for her own daughter, who she's taking care of her whole life because stuff was not done before she was 18. She's now 50. Mm. So, but I did talk to an attorney. The mother can apply since Dre has now been said that she cannot go to the hospital. They're banning her. The mother can ask for an emergency order to put her in regards and it can take 10 days. If she has the right attorney, that will be done within 10 days and the mother can take over. Oh, okay. It's called okay. an emergency act of care is what the mother needs to be asking for. I'm going to write that down. Emergency act, act of care. care to okay. put her as the person that makes all his decisions. Then the mother can get every last piece of paper within 24 hours of since he's been in the hospital. They have 24 hours once she's appointed to give her every single paper from every single hospital. Every test, everything. The mother can yeah. get it faster than anybody okay. if she gets this order. Okay. I tried to call in to Justin and Molly last night to tell uh -huh. them what I found out, uh -huh. but I couldn't get through. They knew that I was talking to people. Yeah. But I couldn't get through. Okay. Justin was having some stream yard issues. So okay. I figured I'd let Sherelle and Amber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know all eyes on this case. Thank you so much for calling in. That is valuable information. Yeah. I will That's pass that I on. I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. That is what needs to be done. And that's what my, I called my aunt's attorney and that's what my aunt had to do. Okay. Yeah, somebody it somebody takes, just takes, said in the chat that um it's already in the works. Okay. Oh, that's good. good. It good. takes 10 days. Uh at the most. I mean, yeah. eventually, if we keep speaking up like this and we keep calling around and we keep asking for help, eventually, let's pray, you guys. Somebody has to hear us. Yes. I and think Amber, somebody I, has though, Sherelle, if they if they banned her from the hospital, something had to happen. Because why did they ban her, right? That's but the true. funny thing yeah. is they banned her after I talked to a doctor that's in charge of a VA for and let him know what she was doing to her, him. Mm. So I'm, you're on it. We appreciate you. What's your name? My name is Tammy. I go by Chef Apples in the chat. Chef Apples, you. we need more Chef Apples. Thank you so much. Everybody, everyone in the chat, That's this is what this is about. We have to be his voice for now. And I understand some people say, well, he brought this on himself. No, you know. he didn't. Well, they're <laughs> saying he, you don't just take stuff and, okay, maybe that's true. But we can't, we see an injustice. She said she was made, I have seizures. If my husband or somebody told me they were making me have seizures or giving me cayenne pepper afterwards, I'd be divorced. They'd be in prison. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh -huh. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to wrap this up. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for calling in. Okay. Thank you all for calling in. Uh, thank you, Angel Eyes. I appreciate you calling in. Thank you, Viva. I appreciate you calling in. Thank you. Are you uh, Amber's friend? I sure am. <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. I think I think she thinks I'm I'm Mexican because every time I'm in her chat, she speaks Spanish, and I'm like, "What is she saying?" I'm a Canadian. I'm a Canadian white woman. <laughs> okay. Okay. Team Amber, thank you so much. You for try, Viva. We appreciate it. Thanks. This is insane, guys. Mm. I feel like that one girl that was gonna cry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're on it. Other yeah. bloggers are on it. People in the mm -hmm. chat are on it. We just got to. Will somebody hear us? You think they are? That you think I think they hear yeah, her. I think they hear Sherelle because I'm, I'm very glad that they blocked her. They had to block her for a reason. So and they heard the something. Mom or the father got a temporary. Uh, what was it, Amber? Uh, what? A temporary custody. He filed for temporary custody yeah. of the kids. Why? So maybe it's people. 
it's Maybe still it's, it's still Raza though that I'm worried about because the father can't file for Raza right now. You know, yeah. I mean, his, his parents would have to try to file right. Yeah. Um, yeah. to say like that something's not right, and 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 CPS needs to step in. Yeah. Um, and the kids need kids need a physical. And maybe that's how they can get the kids away. But well, they you know, had they 10 can... days. That's that's mm -hmm. the thing. CPS mm -hmm. allegedly gave her 10 days, and we're on 10 days by now. Anyway, wow. I everyone, I did not mean to go this long. I did not <laughs> mean to go this long. We were supposed to do another video after this. I know. <laughs> so, uh, I apologize for going so long. I didn't even get to finish reading the other stuff, but it's all questionable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all questionable. Amber is doing this on her channel. So most of the time when things come in right away, she'll read it first and then come back and help me on my channel. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to stay up to date, stay on her channel. Uh, we've got some calls into some people. Let's just hope that we can start getting some responses. Yeah. And, you know. And guys, I like as bad as I know where I know where Tulsa was going with the adult protective services, but they're so overwhelmed. Let's not do that to them. Like I said, the best the best route, in my opinion, right now, with it being an election year, those people running for reelection and for election, they hate media spotlight and not to do anything about it. So bombard, tweet them. That's a good idea, Amber. Black Lives yeah. Matter. All right. Tweet yeah. them. Did like, you just say Black Lives Matter? I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> this but, is white woman. I don't know what I'm going to do with Amber. <laughs> but adult protective services, don't bombard them because this, this is, those are for active cases. He's already being taken care of by professionals. Don't bombard adult protective services. All right. I would not do that. All right. We will bring you more info tomorrow. Uh, things is coming in quite quite fast at this point. So we will keep you mm -hmm. updated. I did not mean to go this long. So, and I'm done for the day. I was supposed to do another video, but I'm tired. All right. Uh, you guys, please don't forget to hit that like, like button on your way out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If I didn't get to your call backstage, I do apologize. I am simply out of time. Yeah. All right, guys. On three, let's so. say bye. One, two, three. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.